has the temperature abated a little bit when it oh, comes my to goodness, no. Donald Trump? It's gotten much worse. Every day it gets worse. When, when the Kavanaugh confirmation hearings were going on, I got another raft of emails. My brother unfriended me on Facebook over Kavanaugh. My sister-in-law broke her engagement over Kavanaugh. You don't believe me? No, no, I, I do believe you. I read your it book. Has gotten, it has gotten more insane by the day. And it comes from both sides. Oh, absolutely. I but mean, and maybe even more from the, from the anti-Trump side than the pro-Trump side. But, but um, I, I read a statistic that, that people are, are truncating their Thanksgivings to an hour or two less so they're not going to fight with each other. There was a piece in the Times on uh, 17, 17 things to talk about at Thanksgiving other than politics. We needed somebody to write an article so we could know something to talk about at Thanksgiving. It, it has gotten worse and worse and worse. Did you see Shocking. this as a psychotherapist? Did you see this during the George W. Bush administration, Story. during the Ronald Reagan administration? That was the beginning. But during the Obama administration? All of this was true, but it was under control to a certain degree. I don't think you were getting parents saying that they would rather their child marry someone of a different race or religion than a different political party. This has become two worlds. And one, one of the people that, that wrote me one of those letters was a guy, lovely guy, sounded really nice, who lived in the, on the West Coast. He was a Trump supporter. He had to take the fact that he was a Trump supporter off his uh, you know, dating profile. profile because no woman would go out with him. And he'd been in the military. He was a very intelligent, thoughtful guy. And he met a lovely woman. He really liked her. And they, they, they had a lot in common. She went on one date. All her friends said, we'll kill him. We'll strangle him. How can you do this? And she walked out in one date. And he said, I read some of the things you wrote. I think we have a chance. Will you talk to her? Will, will you be my uh, <laughs> go-between? <laughs> go between. Rosen Cavalier. So uh, why not? <laughs> he sounded like a great guy. And she was very thoughtful. She, and she knew she had a blind spot for this. She said, why is it that if somebody votes for Trump, I consider them the Antichrist? You know, I mean, certainly there are guys that I agree with who didn't treat me well. And so we had a long, long conversation. And I, I mean, I wasn't trying to convince her to go back to him, but I said, Billy, this is, I said, did you ever have a situation where somebody who you agreed with didn't treat you well, and somebody you did, didn't agree with, treated you well? And I told her my, my great find, actually it was Rick's line, but this is the basis to me of what matters in life. And it's called the chemotherapy test. Chemotherapy test is the fact that when you were lying on a hospital bed with getting chemotherapy in your veins, you do not ask the party affiliation of the person who is standing next to you getting you through it. And we both came to this understanding by having been in that bed and next to that bed. And that's what matters for me. And who, was, who passed the test for you besides your well, husband? Well, Rick passed the test because he basically, moved. I was in the hospital for a month and he was there constantly. My next door neighbor, who Here is- Here in New York. Who, who, yes, who is uh, a passionate National, National Review, Review reader. reader. She doesn't like Trump either. Um, she came and did my laundry and my closest friend- At who, that time. At the time who was um, a liberal Democrat and a psychoanalyst, never showed up. 